No injuries will happen in the making of this video. It's the best. Oh. Oh, and I did step in the poop. Bam. Bam. It's a beautiful day in Jamaica Plain, and we are going to show you so much of it. I can't wait. We will start at the Arnold Arboretum. Follow me this way. The Arnold Arboretum is part of Harvard University, but it's absolutely free for anybody to use. The only hard part about visiting this place is parking because you'll have to park on the street. But you got this, I know you do. And then once you get there, boom, beauty. Established in 1872. Well, over here is the visitor center and the Arboretum is full of walking paths. So it's sort of like choose your adventure once you arrive. There's also QR codes throughout, so you can learn. That's a Don Redwood. See? Learning. I've never been this way. It's fun to choose new paths. There's so much to discover. This is a legit root growing over top of a sidewalk. Look at this. That's wild. The Arboretum is especially sweet during lilac season. So pack a snack and enjoy the adventure. And for our next stop, it's Allendale Farm. The farm is right on the border of Jamaica Plain and Brookline. Open from March through December, the roadside stand is bursting with colorful food. The office manager for the farm, Christina Crisiamano, gave us a little tour. Behind door number one, everything you need for a garden of your own through door number two. If I got this, would it grow in my apartment? The farm is gorgeous and so close to the city. We are 20 minutes away from Boston. We're nestled right in there. Is this the closest farm to the city? Yes. There have been some that have popped up since then. You know, you've got some like urban ones coming up, but this has been here consistently for generations. Right now we have 20 acres in cultivation for vegetables and there's always something going on here. Oh, it's a party at Allendale Farm, you guys. The steers party the most and we went to see them. On the way, Christina told us about the CSA. It's a way for the community to support the farm in the winter in exchange for a box of veggies every week for 20 weeks during the season. That's a great idea. I love a good surprise box of produce. We made it to the Scottish Highlands Steer. They are 13 years old, right. they're brothers, and they know how to chill. We just want to hang out with you guys. Meet Curtis and Willard. The Willard's horns kind of make a W. Yeah. They're a bit more up, and Curtis's horns are a make bit curly. Make a C. Yeah. Oh, cute. Oh, and I did step in the poop. It it's happened. okay, you're good. It's all right, yeah, whatever. On to the chickens. There are seven, and we are told that they are sassy. We come in peace also. Oh God, look at these mealworms. You don't want to have them, them pecks in your hand? Do I? Yes. No injuries will happen no. in the making of this video? Okay. Wow. Sassy and friendly chickens. I raised them since they were baby chicks next to my desk. Oh my God. Yes. Someone got a nibble. The farm also hosts many events, so keep an eye out for those and pop in to do some grocery shopping next time you're in JP. And how fitting, this sign, buy fresh, buy local, spotted downtown, which is where we are next. To make a plain Center Street, we're gonna go shopping and get some snacks. There are a ton of businesses on Center Street, including this one, Polka Dog, Boomerangs, Deep Thoughts, Carrot Flower, Espresso Yourself, a brewery, JP Licks, and more. We'll kick off our shopping excursion at Boing, JP's Toy Shop. We're celebrating a soon-to-be five-year-old and needed something special. The selection is perfection. Plus, they do all the wrapping. So grateful for that. Tis time for a cup of coffee. At Espresso Yourself. A little pick-me-up and possibly a place to try something new. Halva. It's a mixture of tahini and sugar, which is said to be highly nutritious. This is me deciding how I feel about it. It's like peanut butter. Wild. It is truly unique and tasty. That is an experience I've never, ever had in my mouth. Like peanut butter-ish, but not. You should try it. You gotta try it. Moving and grooving, we're keeping it moving. Walking down Center Street, we run into Paper Cuts Bookshop, and now it's time for lunch. Wow. At Juicy Greens. So nice outside. Oh, toasty toast. Oh me, oh my, look at that natural light. I am loving this vibe. <laughs> For lunch, a vegan Cuban burrito. Wow. And it is massive. Thanks, Juicy Greens. Taking this burrito baby on a walk down to a record store. We're trying to get some 
good thoughts in today and we're gonna go into deep thoughts to get what we need and more. Immediate happiness. Whoa, are you Jim? Yeah. I'm Elena. The other Elena told me to look for you here in Deep Thoughts. Right on. Seven years ago, Deep Thoughts opened up in Jamaica Plain and inside the store you'll find about a million records. That's a rough estimate by moi, but seriously, there are a lot in here and so many genres. There's also tapes, CDs, odds and ends, and some t-shirts, some swag. It's a chill vibe all the time. Yeah. I try to keep it that way too. The music is the most important, and in the basement, swag and books. And now a deep thought brought to you by Jim. Don't take any wooden nickels, is what my grandfather would say. Mm. <laughs> keep that one in your back pocket. This place is rad. See you, Jim. On to dessert, and you know exactly where we're going. We are at JP Licks, the one and only. Well, there's actually many. Everybody's excited. You can hear them. The store you see in Jamaica Plain today this is, is the nice. third reincarnation of the first Jamaica Plain store. And we get to meet the owner and co founder, Vincent Pepper. Ice cream has a power unlike anything else I can think of make a bad day happy for a lot of people, you know. Yes. Uh, your softball team wins, you get ice cream. Your softball team loses, you get ice cream. You go to the dentist, it hurt, honey, have some ice cream, you know. He started the business at the age of 26. There are now 17 JP Licks, all within 495 in Massachusetts. Ice cream provided me the vehicle to create my own little world. I love it. Uh, and I could be my own boss, I could treat people fairly the way I saw fit, and fair is really big to me. This man has love to share. He cares about the employees since day one, hiring people other businesses generally wouldn't have in the 80s. And all my employees in the beginning were mass art students. I had pierced, tattooed people. Some of my best crews were those kids and the most fun, but I was also a kid myself. Sure. I'm 26, they're 22. We have a lot of fun. The dairy itself is from Hood Dairy and his favorite ice cream flavor is wild. It's weird because it's Tabasco. Oh. It's the most interesting flavor I've ever tasted. We were working on a terrible flavor, Virgin Bloody Mary sorbet. I had the Tabasco sauce there and I had the ice cream bakes. Mm -hmm. And so I'm waiting for the thing to finish freezing in the ice cream freezer. And I started putting Tabasco sauce into the ice cream mix. And I'm perplexed because I put in a shitload of Tabasco sauce and I'm getting like no heat but this incredible flavor. As for aspiring business owners, Here's his advice. Go study, go get a job in the field that you want to have your business in and know what you're doing, you know, and know it from the bottom up. Thanks, Vincent and JP Licks for the tastiest. Peanut butter lace and of course it's dairy free. After ice cream, rinse off at a nearby splash pad at Johnson Park. For something more adult, we go down the street. A final stop, Turtle Swamp Brewing. Let's go inside. In 2017, doors opened and they have been brewing quite a bit ever since with classics and seasonals. The crowd favorite is the Orange Line New England IPA, an ode to our favorite MBTA line that never breaks down or runs late. There's so much more to see in Jamaica Plain, but hopefully you had some fun on this little journey. You gotta visit it for yourself. But please make sure to like and subscribe, comment below what you liked and didn't like about the video, and we will see you next time. I hope one day I can try that place. I hope there's like a, I don't know. We, I'm may, sure there's we an will event. have it back, because yes. I'm twisting their arms of the towers side, but flavors were happening. I mean, you would Since think. Since I delegate that out. Right. Yeah. 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 It'll be back. So, one yeah. day. One day. It will be, actually. Yeah.